I know. I look like Pocahontas. Let let just let's discuss it. Let's get it out. I look like Pocahontas. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. My hair was not behaving. That's why it's in these braids. But I know I just did an Ofra mystery bag, but Pure also had a mystery bag or box or something, and henceforth, and ergo, I had to get one. So I had pulled this open because I thought maybe it was in like a bag I could take it out, but I saw that it was not. So I stopped opening it, and I figured I'd open the rest of it on here with you guys. Oh, you know what? It is! Well, it, it, it is in here. Yay. Now, they also had two sizes, and yes, I did get both sizes. And you must be wondering, why would you order two of them? And you know what? Honestly, my main reason is it's at a really good price. And whatever I don't use, I get from my giveaway. And they're really good things for my giveaway without me having to spend full price on it. I'm being perfectly honest. If I can spend less on good products for my giveaways, I'm kind of going to want to do that. Okay, so I just looked it up. And the only one that is currently left is the $25 one. The larger one, which I do not remember the price. Maybe they have it on here. They do not have the price, but the only one that is left is the $25 one, so I will link that one below. And yes, of course, it is going to be a magic link, which kind of just helps me out with getting these things for my channel and for the giveaways. But I have gotten pure mystery bags in the past. Baxter is very curious again, and I have enjoyed them very, very much. I really wanted to order the 4-in-1 Selfie Foundation, but I have enough foundations, and I said I'm not going to order it. I'm going to finish up some of the ones that I have before I try out new ones. By the time I try it out, it will probably be <laughs> six months old, but that's okay with me. So given the size, I'm going to say that this one is the $25 one. And this one, again, I don't know the price of it. Unfortunately, it is sold out. So let's just start with the little one first. And of course, they also gave me, ooh, a coupon for 20% off. If you guys text 24321, no, if you text the word PURE, P-U-R, to 24321, I'll put that right here, you can get 20% off your next order. So if you are interested in getting these bags, you might be able to save the 20%. Anyway, they sent me two samples. They sent me a Melt Away Makeup Remover Towelette, which I would like to try. And then they gave me some Tone Up Total Eye Fitness, which I would like to try too. No, Baxter. I, Baxter thinks that I am opening up one of his treat bags again, and it is not, although he thinks it is. It won't open. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, we got a chrome, well, I got, or maybe you got for a giveaway, a chrome glaze lipstick, and this is in the color DIY. For some reason, I think I have this. I'm going to just open it quickly and see. If I do have it, I'll put this in a giveaway. I like their lip glosses. They're really pretty and comfortable. Oh, I got another. Oh, this is actually a velvet matte, and this is in the color Passion. I wonder if it's this hot pink. Actually, I have not tried the velvet matte. Oh, that's pretty. It's not as fuchsia-y as I thought, or maybe it is, and it does have a little sparkle. I'm going to hold on to this, and if I decide that I want to, I'll put this in a giveaway, too. Oh, yay! I got a Pure Minerals brush. I'm not going to touch it because this may go into a giveaway, but I have these brushes. Not this particular one, but I have Pure brushes, and I like them. This is an angled brush, and it's meant to go with, like, their Pure Mineral pigments that they have. Okay, I have a box. Oh, look, okay, I got that because I also got the Mineral Glow Bronzing Powder. You know, I may keep that brush to see if it will go and how it works with the Mineral Powder. I have not tried this as of yet. Have you guys tried um, this before or have you gotten these bags before? Have you tried Pure before? I'd be very curious to know. Of course, I can't open the freaking thing. Where's my Hello Kitty? This is the package that it comes in. And this is the color. It looks a little warm, but let's see. I love the texture of it. And that's what it looks like on my finger. Oh, no, this I think is going to be a really pretty color on me. Especially buffed out. Oh, I think I'm going to like that. 
And it is called Mineral Glow, by the way. I think that's the color. I'm assuming. I don't know if they have more than one color. And the last thing I got, which I suspected that we might get, is the Pure uh, and Boxy Charm. Well, it's a Pure Masquerade palette. We did get this in our Boxy Charm. I do have it. A couple of these shades were too dark for me, so I do use them as eyeshadows. It's a very like cool toned with the purple and green. It gives you a very dramatic look because the shadows are very, very pigmented. But I have this already, so yay. So I did get at least two things, the bronzing powder and the brush that I think I will be enjoying for sure. And maybe some of the other things will be going in the giveaway. And that is totally fine with me. Again, I paid $25 and that has a value of way more than $25. Let's get into the big one. There could be repeats in here. I mean, I'm taking the chance, you know what I mean? And that's okay with me. First thing I'm pulling out, I have wanted this palette for the longest time. It has been in and out of my pure cart, I think for a year. It is the Etienne, Pure and Etienne palette. I think Etienne, I don't know whether she was an influencer or what have you, but it was a collaboration. It's the Pure Pro palette. I've looked at this and put it in my cart and debated it and everything else. And now I finally have it, yay! comes in a nice black matte packaging, rather not matte, shiny. The um, lettering is silver foiled and raised. Oh, it's such a special pretty palette. Um, the little thing here, I love that it folds back by the way, it says makeup is self-expression, no rules. And the influencer is Etienne Ortega. Look at how pretty that is. You can go very, very neutral, but it has that lovely pop of purple that I love. It's got some dark shades. The names are on the palette itself. Let's just swatch a couple. This Xenon color looks spectacular. I have to swatch that. Honestly, it feels a little dry. It could be that I have to wet it. So it's a little light, but there it is. Let's swatch my favorite purple. That looks really pretty. There is that purple. And let me swatch one more of the foiled shades. Let's swatch Penny. Penny is very soft. Ooh, that, that's gorgeous. Hold on, you can't really see. There you go. That is such a pretty color. I love it. I think this is a beautiful palette. I'm so excited to finally have it and play with it and enjoy it and Yay, so that's the first thing in here. I think this palette originally sold for like $45 or more if I'm not mistaken. Next thing I'm pulling out is, I wanted one of these too. This is the Skin Perfecting Concealer Brush. It's one of those paddle brushes with the very densely packed bristles. Kind of a dupe for the Artiste oval brushes which I'm really hoping that I find in TJ Maxx one day because even at $40, I want it. Ooh, how cute. Now to me, this is very large for a concealer brush, but I would totally use this to buff out my foundation. It may not be that large, but that is okay. These bristles are so stinking soft. Look at, I mean, you can just see even visually how soft they are. It has a nice curved handle here this is one part and the handle connects down here and this is like a matte type of uh i don't know how to describe it it's like that that matte feeling and it's so freaking soft i love this see these are things i probably like wouldn't purchase myself i probably say i don't need it and things like that and that's why i'm so happy to have them okay the next thing i have is on point and it is a lip liner and the color looks really pretty this is in low key. I don't think I'm very low key when it comes to my makeup. I have not tried their lip liners before. I actually like the aesthetic. It almost looks like a pen, like a marker. It unscrews. Well, that's bougie now, isn't it? This is gorgeous. That's a beautiful color and it went on beautifully also. And I really enjoy the screw on cap. What's this? Oh, I got a bunch of brushes here. 
This is the Contour Blending Brush from Pure, which I have. It is a dense, sort of fat brush that is wonderful for doing your contour. It fits perfectly. And this is a liquid chisel brush, which means you can use it for liquid products. It looks to be like it is a duo fiber. I am not opening yet because it also may go into a giveaway. Here's another brush. This one I'm going to open. I love the cases that they come in. They do put a lot of money into detail. This is the Precision Crease Brush. It has a uniformly thick handle. It's white. It's very soft and it is dense. So this will be wonderful for depositing your color. If you have a very, very pigmented shadow and you just stamp the color on, you can lightly buff it in and then you can blend with a larger brush. And I like the size of it because it fits nicely in my hands. One more thing. Oh, and I, I can never have too many of these because for some reason, and you guys have to tell me, my spoolies, because I get makeup and whenever I do my foundation, which is why I don't do my eyes and my eyebrows first, I always get foundation or powder in my eyebrows and therefore my spoolies get full of foundation. And I have about eight of these <laughs> and I clean, like I'll clean four of them and bring them back, but after like two uses they're filthy again. So I am so excited to not only have the spoolie, but also to have a, another either eyeliner brush or um, eyebrow liner and this one feels just dense enough and it's very thin I'll do a nice close-up on that so you can see the thinness of it this was an absolute fabulous bag to me again to some of you may be saying eh, it's kind of meh and I can understand that because if you don't have a channel or people that you can give them Two, you might be saying it's not worth it to me to me it's worth it because I got some expensive items for giveaways again that didn't cost me a veritable fortune so I'm really grateful for that what I'm going to do is add up the value of each of the bags and what I got I hope I remember what I got in each bag I mean think about it how many mystery bags do you actually get palettes in yes it's a palette if you have boxycharm you got it but none of the other companies really put except for Ofra where I've gotten their single shadows they don't put palettes in their mystery bags so the fact that pure has done that I think makes it an extremely valuable bag but uh, that's just my thoughts, and I would love to know your thoughts because your thoughts are and your comments are what I live for to read and answer. So let me know what you guys think, if you are thinking about getting it, if you did get it. Were you happy, sad, disappointed? You know how that goes. You may comment on the Pocahontas look here. <laughs> I looked in the mirror, I went, really? And yeah, that is about it. Thank you so much for joining me today. Yes, I have more videos to film. I'm trying to stock up on them because I have a couple of hard weeks um, coming up for me very, very soon. As I said, there's something major going on in my life, which is not a good thing, and your prayers are needed. But so I want to make sure that I have enough videos so that if I am, and the probability of me not being able to film is, is pretty high. So I want to make sure I have enough videos for you guys. So thank you guys so much. I love you tremendously. You know that. And whatever part of the world you're in on around, I hope you're having an amazing day, an amazing week. And I'll see you very, very soon in my next video. Bye.